So over the years, Random Acts has surprised countless people. I don't know if it's countless. I mean, we've had 30 episodes so far, and that's like one big segment. Well, that's still 30, really high and then like the smaller ones, yeah, but like 50 of those. I was also counting the people who were watching the episodes, so. Oh, countless. Countless. We don't even know. I don't know many. the count. It's a lot. Perfect. This is a list of our top reveals. And remember, you don't have to wait for Tuesday nights. You can watch all of the previous episodes on BYUtv.org or you can download the BYUtv app. So without further ado, please watch and live and love our list of our top reveals. <laughs> <laughs> Today is the day I am in full delivery man mode and I am ready to surprise Gary at lunch. And I'm gonna head in and get a perfect vantage point so I can know when to radio you in. Sounds good. Yep. Okay, there they are. I don't know if you can see them behind me, but they're right behind me. Oh, yeah. My name's Chris. I'll be your server today. Okay, Will, we're ready for you. He's in the lobby. Gary Station. He's looking around. Gary? Entering room in 10 seconds. What is Staples? Staples? Yeah. Yeah. You guys are Staples? Gary Staples? Yeah. Okay, I got a delivery for you here. Can you just sign for me right there? Where is this coming from? I don't know. I just... How oh, they track me down here? <laughs> I just work for the company, sir. I'm sorry. I don't know how they... It's from Rio Tinto. Rio Tinto, yeah. That's cool, oh, yeah. There you go. Thank you so much. That is for you. That one's for me. That one's for you. You guys enjoy your meal, huh? Thanks. Thank you. It's kind of weird. Whoa. Ooh. 12 VIP tickets? Wow. Oh Are you God. serious? Please come to the ticket booth on the west side of Rio Tinto today at 12.30 to pick up your <laughs> tickets. So Whitney and Steven are about to come into the restaurant right now to reveal the surprise that it was actually them that gave them the tickets. Hey, there they are. What's up? Wow. Joining us. We got uh, some cheap flights last night. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you get a little surprise? Yeah. All right. We wanted to do there a little double surprise there. So. I thought somebody was checking yeah, down the pretty... serving papers for some <laughs> yeah, awful reason. Are you sure it's legit? Yeah, I see. What's the VIP? So I got to go so I can go greet the family and friends over at the stadium. Hey, Dad, should we go get the tickets? We have to get them today. Okay, so everyone, let's get on the move. Over to the stadium, over to the stadium. Everyone to the stadium. Okay, so they've just left the restaurant. They're headed over to this ticket window right now, and we are ready for them. I'm gonna go check on the crowd, make sure that they're ready to go. Hey, everybody, listen up. We're gonna go run through. So I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna be Gary. And then as I turn around, this is like standing up, going crazy. Like, I want you to hit that 10. Is that cool? All right, here we go. This has been an amazing day. I'm Gary. I, this is so good. I'm just so crazy. Perfect. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Okay. We'll go on the crowd. We'll go on the crowd. Perfect. Uh, we are almost set here, so. All right, Will. Like, he's coming through. He should be there any second. All right, everybody. He is walking up, like, right now, so. Let's get ready. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? How can I help you? We won the ticket VIP thing. Can I see that? Yeah. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen one of these. Well, what was your name? Gary Staples. You know, I... I don't know how this one works. I'm kind of new here. Let me grab my boss, and he'll come and help you out. Is that cool? Give me one second. Hey, boss! Uh, is it Gary Staples? 
Hey, good to see you, my man. Hey, we're expecting you. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Hey, can you wait right there? Yeah. I want to bring these tickets out to you. How are you? Hi, how are you, man? This is the show, Random X. You were nominated by one of your employees, Karen, and she told us just how many people love you and appreciate you for the good person you are. And, um, yeah. 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 Thank you. And so, what do you say about we uh, take a little tour of this thing? It's fine out where these tickets are. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, let's do appreciate it. it. You guys got to win tomorrow, huh? I know. Yeah. That's the plan. We'll be cheering you on. Yeah. That's awesome. Hey, how are you? We didn't expect you, hey, man. Hey. We're happy to have you here. You're the man. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. that. Great to be here. Oh, man. Keep Don't going. RSL, huh? Yes. Now, where the magic happens. Wow, here's the tunnel. It's one of the best entrances in all the league. So, Gary, at Random Acts, like I said, we support and honor like awesome, amazing people, you know what I mean? So your seats are gonna be right over there. Wow. That'll be with your family, right? But you know, <laughs> there's so many more people that love you and care about you and you've touched their lives. And we thought they should be here with you, Gary. Uh. So go ahead and turn around. throughout the years. How are you doing? Good. Wow, good to see you. Hi, Coach. Good to see you. You guys are making me cry. Quit it. Happy to see you, Hey, babe. Jasmine, good to see you, sweet girl. When I turned around and saw all those people <laughs> cheering, cheering me on, I mean, there's not much better support you can ever receive in your life. Every time we do one of these, I think it's just going to be kind of routine. But then when I meet the person and I see what a good person they are and, and how much people genuinely love them, it, it hits me every time. And Gary has left a legacy. We all have ups and downs in life. It's nice to have somebody lift you up, take you to the next level, and have you know that you're loved and cared about by other people. Keep up the good work, huh? I love you, man. This is what heaven feels like, huh? <laughs> yeah, lots of love. All right, everybody, that's our show. A huge thank you to Ralph Salt Lake, who made all of this possible. Everybody shout Random Acts on three. One, two, three. Random Acts! Oh, look at this place. Wow. This is nice. How full is it tonight? We are sold out. Oh. Cool. What? Such good energy when you have a sold out house. So where will the family be sitting? They're going to be sitting right over here in section L. They're going to have a really good view right into the stage at a really, really nice height. Perfect. minivan pulling in, it might be them. Rich, you got that? That's them, maybe. Don't answer back, but that's probably them. Oh, over here. Do you guys know what you want? I want a quesadilla. Okay, kids' quesadilla. Is that a meal? See them? Okay, so the family is in there, but we haven't gotten a queue yet, so we can't go in just yet. Okay, guys, why don't you take the trays and go sit down? Lena, these guys are leaving. You want to sit there? Right. Okay, we just got the signal. It is go time. Can't wait to meet them. Game face. Oh my god! Shh. Don't say anything. Shh. What? It is. Are you sure? It's <laughs> what are they doing here? 
Yeah. And I want some hot sauce. Do you have any hot sauce? Excuse me, can I borrow your Cholula? Thanks. I really shouldn't eat this whole thing. I really shouldn't. I'll help you. Is that enough hot sauce? Okay. Thanks, Kiara. Um, she, did you just... Wait, what did she say? What? Oh, it's Kiara and Eden. Oh! Oh my oh, gosh, guys. I didn't even see Eden over there. We were going to see you in a little bit, actually. Yeah. yeah we're going to tour the event center. <laughs> Have you not heard about this? <laughs> no. No one's told you about the tour? What tour? Are you serious? You guys don't know about that? <laughs> You've heard of Random Acts, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so great because you're actually on it right now. There's a camera right over there. <laughs> right now we got cameras all over the place and at random acts we do nice things for nice people and we heard your story we love you guys so much and we wanted to do something it's nice terrible. for you and so we're gonna go over to the event center take a tour and you and your entire family are gonna go see the piano guys tonight <laughs> get a backstage tour right now so you can check out the event center VIP yeah so we're gonna give you guys some time to finish your food. I don't think they'll be able to eat. I know. Well then let's get over to the event center. Let's do it. Let's go right now. Boom. The family is just about to arrive here at the arena where they think they're just getting a tour. But what they don't know is that they are probably gonna run into the piano guys on that tour. What are the chances of that? Pretty good. We set it up. Yara, bring it in. I'm excited for you guys to come just so we can hug again. Oh, excited for the show tonight? Yes. yes. Ready for this tour? Yeah. Check this out. This is the venue for tonight's Piano Guys concert. So come on down this way. Okay, here we go. Tour is beginning. There's going to be about 5,000 people here tonight. As you can see, the piano is set up for Mr. Schmidt, and then Steve is over there on the cellos and stuff. So it's going to be an awesome show. We're going this way? Yeah. Awesome. So we will continue on to the back. Count to 10. This is where the crew and everybody gets ready. That's where they open the doors and they load in everything. Five, four, three, two. Oh, hi. Well, hello. Eden, nice to meet you. Kiara, hello. Pleased to meet you. I want, I want a hug, actually. It's nice to meet both of you. I'm glad you could make it. Well, this is my accompanist, John. <laughs> So they're pretty big fans of our show, but they're also big fans of you guys, I think, right? Do you guys? Uh, yeah. yeah. That, that's a huge honor for us. Thank you. It means a lot. We actually have tickets for you right here. We picked out very, very special seats for you. Unfortunately, you can see the piano from them, so I apologize for that. But other than that, they're great seats. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, this is great. We've got our tour manager, Frank, right back here. Come on and... Uh, Good to meet you. We would like for you guys to come to Soundcheck. Bring your family as well, so there's 10 passes. Afterward, we'd like you to come get a picture with the guys, okay? She's calling nine of her friends right now. Like, I got 10 passes. <laughs> we'll see you at Soundcheck. Okay, thank you. Group hug, bring it in, everybody. Bring it in, group hug, group hug. Yeah. Watch out for Eden, she's being sandwiched. <laughs> oh, Soundcheck. Yeah. All right. Sorry, I'm getting stolen. Yeah, go ahead. Bye, guys. Bye. How do you feel? So good. Yeah? I was... Wow, that was cool. <laughs> well, the day's not over yet. We still have to get ready for the concert. So we've got you a hotel room where you can change up. But we have to be back here by five for the VIP sound check. So let's get a move on. Come on. Okay, let's, right. go, let's go. <laughs> Right this way. Welcome everybody to sound check. Thanks so much for coming. Woo! the best response we've ever gotten. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> During sound check, John and I and Alan Paul will check our inner monitors, which are these that, that are in our ears. Wes is our monitors engineer. So he's the one that adjusts all of our levels that are in our ears. And then back there, Benjamin, wave your hand, Benjamin. Everybody give Benjamin and Wes a big round of applause. They are responsible for our sound. We're gonna make up a song on the spot for you, and we're gonna prove that this is spontaneous. What time of day is it, everybody? And we'll use it to make up a song. Oh, it's uh, okay. 5.35. 5.35, okay, does everybody, so agree? everybody agree with that time? We're good? Okay. Yeah. So the way this works is you go up five notes on the scale. One, two, three, four, five. And that's the first note. The second note will be a three. One, two, three. And the third note is a five. 
535. Chiara, yes. So you guys call yourself the piano guys, but why not the cello guys? <laughs> I tell you whose fault this is, it's Paul. Yeah, it is. <laughs> In my piano store, we are just a bunch of guys selling pianos. I named the piano guys oh, channel. On you, yeah, it was just me and a bunch of salesmen. We didn't think it'd become a big deal. We didn't think we'd form a partnership. Um, but after it had racked up over 10 million hits, we're like, we should do something. In the end, kind of music chose all of us. The magic of the piano guys is the collaboration. We have such different styles, like, you know, Barbie doll, <laughs> reggae music, classical music, and pop music. And then, of course, John is so good at composing original music and choral music. And so you bring all those together, and then you have the piano guys. You'll see tonight three-year-olds all the way up to the 90-year-old grandparents, and that's so awesome to see that our music can uh, cross such a wide demographic and an age. Our mission is to bring hope and joy to people through music and videos. Thanks, everybody, for being Thank here. You. Thanks, everybody. The VIP soundcheck was awesome. The piano guys were amazing. Kiara and her family have taken their seats, and they have no idea what's about to happen. I'm so excited. Please welcome the piano guys. Thank you. Well, we've got a very, very special surprise for you. We teamed up tonight with the BYU TV show, Random Acts. And together, we surprised a very special girl with tickets to our show tonight. Her name is Kiara, and she's here with her incredible sister, Eden. And uh, Kiara, you see, in the last year, um, in a tragic accident, lost her left hand. And she's an actress, she's a pianist, and you can imagine how devastating that is. And yet everybody around her has just been so inspired by her ability to have joy and hope through this entire situation. And Eden, don't think we've forgotten about you too. It takes a <laughs> lot to support somebody like that too. And sometimes maybe people like you are the heroes too because you're there beside her the whole time. We got a chance to interact with Kiara and such an incredible spirit to this girl. And she got up on stage and she's like, how do you do this? Play in front of all these people. And in my head, I was thinking, why don't we have you try? <laughs> what do you say we kick this surprise up a notch and have Kiara come jam with John on the stage? Come on up, Kiara, come on. We're gonna do a little duet together. Let's say hello to Kiara, everybody. This is really cool. There's five notes that I'm gonna show you, Kiara. Two of the notes you've probably played in Chopsticks. Right there, right? And Steve, could you give us a little beat? You while, got it, while we happy teach? to. So those are two. So you got three more. You got... Try all of them in a row. Do that, yeah. All right. Those are your notes. And you can try three at a time. And then what you do is you just make stuff up. There we go. Oh. Nice. <laughs>
Thank you. <laughs> Did you hear? Never, never give up on the piano. Never give up on the piano. <laughs> How did you feel up there? How was it? It was just the most incredible experience. Just, it was so powerful and just the biggest dream come true. Okay, we both want to go in the helicopter. So heads I go, tails you go. Okay, yeah, great, got it. Ready? Yep. It's heads. Yes! <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's good, it's good. You should be excited. <laughs> Here we go. Emily's on her way, and we are minutes away from surprising Cassandra. Okay, man, we're airborne. <gasps> Copy that, November Juliet. Like, makes your stomach, like, jump around. <laughs> what a view. Cassandra is still in the house. Everyone stand by. They're not ready yet. we got to have her for a little while. The plan is for Cassandra's mom to get her out of the house for a walk. Hopefully, she's feeling up for it. Okay, they're coming out of the house now. All right, Cassandra just left her house, and I'm going to go meet her at the corner. Here we go. Are we about ready to land? We are 90 seconds away, hopefully. I see the marks. They are at the bottom of the parking lot, and they're just turning up into the parking lot right now. Here we go, guys. All cameras roll. Please, all cameras roll. Yeah, no, I know. No, you can't. OK, talk to you later. Bye. Excuse me. I am so sorry to interrupt your walk. I'm just not from this area, and I'm thinking about coming up to this area more. What, are you Cassandra? Yes. You're not Cassandra Quist, though. Yes, I am. Who are you? <laughs> oh, my yeah. gosh. Oh, this is very fortuitous, because I was looking for you. Can you hang on for a second? Yeah. Oh. Emily? Hello, hello. Yeah, bring her down. OK, we're coming in. <laughs> what is going on? I'm Lisa. I'm from the show Random Acts. And we do random acts of kindness for deserving people. And we realize that you love horses. And we just thought you deserve to have a day that you'll never forget. So we're going to take you on a little ride to find some wild Mustangs. And here comes our lift. <laughs> I can see her excitement from here. Yes. Oh, they're for me. This is for you. Oh, my God. Have you ever tracked wild Mustangs? No. Well, let's do it. Hey. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, hello, ladies. Are you two ready to go? I hope you guys have so much fun. You absolutely deserve it. Thank you. I'm still <laughs> crying. <laughs> that they're off, time for me to get ready for phase two. This will be a good starting point. It'll start looking. We may start to see updates. Sounds good. Cool. If you look at the valley floor, you can see the trails that they create between the feeding locations and water and horses. Oh, yeah. Is that a group of Horses coming out, that's cows. <laughs> we'll find them. So I've snuck up to the Scotsman Center, which is only about a half hour away from where Cassandra lives, and I've met up with Tammy, the founder of Hoof Beats to Healing. And with the help of her and her employee, Nicole, we're going to start our second surprise for Cassandra. So let's get going. Let's go. Meet our second surprise, Lou and Olivia. We're going on a horse ride today. Can I help brush? Yeah, you'll go through first and I'll go through after you. It's been a hot second since I've gotten to brush a horse. <laughs> I know, I know. So we've been talking to Cassandra's mom over the last couple of weeks 
and she told us that this surprise would mean the world to Cassandra. We just hope that she has enough strength for the ride. We're gonna let her decide when she lands, but her mom has been making sure that she's been resting up so she'll be all ready to go. I really hope that she can, even if it's just for a little while. I really think it'll be worth it. They can't all be hiding. Yeah. Is Tim out there, Rob? Yep, Tim's down there. The oh. Oh, oh yes. <gasps> that's amazing. Oh, wow, that's cool. Very good. Gorgeous. So we have a baby. Five adults and a baby. That's so cool. This is down there grazing. Just hanging out. I'm glad we saw some. With yeah. the baby, is extra special. That's extra special. Do I keep going to this village boss? Sorry. Okay. So tell me a little bit more about Hoofbeats to Healing. I founded Hoofbeats to Healing for people that have like a limitation physically. When you get on a horse, your limitation is gone. Yeah. They become your legs and they become your movement and your freedom. I loved riding horses as a kid and that's exactly the feeling that you get. I mean, our horses, they don't care who you are. You know, they don't care if you're in a wheelchair. They don't care your background. They love everybody. You're gonna make me cry. It's the horse hair, I'm allergic. <laughs> oh my goodness, down here. Very nice. So beautiful. <laughs> yeah, look at him. Wow. Wow. So I assume that these horses have a protected status. Is that correct? That is exactly right. Oh, good. It really yeah. is something to see them in their natural element, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. That's amazing. Those are big hurts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was a good group right there. Come on, Blue. Yeah. So now that we're heading back to globalization, how was it? That was amazing. It was so beautiful and just wonderful. <laughs> what draws you to horses in particular? I don't get to very often, but I love to ride. It's just joyful, just pure happiness. Love that. OK. Yes. Hey, do you guys mind? Emily wants us to make a little stop. I don't mind. Okay. Adam, you've got the coordinates? I do. Perfect. I just heard they're on their way in. Let's go meet them. Come on. Helicopter coming in from the west. That looks like a good place to land, right? <laughs> so beautiful. It, it was, was just wasn't amazing. it? It's really neat to see these kinds of experiences, but it's another thing to like have a hands-on experience. Mm -hmm. So Emily has another surprise for you. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> How do you feel like going for a ride? Sounds wonderful. Awesome. Well, we're going to spend the afternoon with Olivia and Blue. <laughs> How long has it been since you've been on a horse? Um, it's about three years. Wow, that's, that's quite a long time. Yeah. Cassandra looks like she's having a really great time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How you doing? Doing good. Oh, great. <laughs> I told her that we were going to have a girl's excursion, so okay. she's been resting, and that will help her. I mean, she'll be sore, but she's having the time of her life, and yeah. some things are worth it. We just love her. You. Thank you. We hope you've had a really great experience and that it's been worth the physical cost. Absolutely. It has been. It's wonderful. Well, it's absolutely clear to us how important animals are in your life, especially horses. And it seems like you and Livy really got along today. Yeah, I love her. Well, that's <laughs> good. Because thanks to some amazing people at a foundation called The Straighter Way, mm -hmm. we've been able to adopt Olivia for you. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs>
And so while she remains at the stable, you have access to her anytime. You can come and groom her or ride her if you're feeling up to it. <laughs> Never in my wildest dreams would I have imagined that happening for me. You guys are just, oh my gosh. <laughs> Just give you, oh my gosh, 100%. You are amazing. <laughs> and you deserve it. You really do. How's that sound? Oh what do you God. think, Olivia? I think she's cool with it. <laughs> I'm going to be crying for the rest of the day, guys. It's just, oh my gosh. Come on, say hello. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey. Okay, you're about to meet Brooke and Jeremy, a wonderful couple who are in need of a helping hand. They were nominated by Brooke's best friend, Jamie. So let's meet Jamie and Brooke's parents to find out a little bit more about them. The reason I nominated Brooke is because despite her wonderful attributes, she has an awful, crazy disease that gives her pain. After my daughter's second child, Grayson, was born, she started to develop very strange types of pain, and she could hardly walk, and her pain was so severe, she got to the point where she was literally bedridden. One minute, she is super mom, super friend, super woman, and then by the end of the day, she is in so much pain, she can't get out of bed. Jeremy is Brooke's husband, and he has no idea when they wake up whether or not he's gonna have a wife that can help out or a wife that is laid out in bed and cannot move. Her health problems have drained every cent that they have. It's been really hard. We've helped them financially as far as we can go. We ended up having to sell our house. But we can't do any more. One of the things that I know would really transform their lives is a proper path from their house to the car as well as a driveway. When she's in a lot of pain and needs to get to the ER, it is like, for us, climbing Mount Everest. It is so excruciatingly difficult for her to get from her house to her car so that she can go get the help that she needs. When I first met Brooke, I immediately wanted to know more. And we finally made that contact and I came home and told my husband I just found my female equivalent of a soulmate. I have tried my best to help her in every way I can to be able to give them the gift that you guys can help me give them would mean so much. They are such amazing people. Well, I really want to help these people. So we've already booked Brooke and Jeremy a hotel room for tonight to celebrate their upcoming wedding anniversary. And then tomorrow, while Jamie is taking them to lunch and a movie, we are going to build them a driveway. But that's not all. We're also going to make a mock commercial of us building the driveway and premiere it at the movie theater later so they know what we've been up to. So Will is over at their house right now waiting for them to leave so he can call in Sean from Good Concrete who's gonna help us pull this whole thing off. Now they have to get onto the property today to figure out everything they need for tomorrow morning. Guys, they were supposed to leave at four o'clock. We've been here for two hours and they still haven't left. So if they don't leave, we can't start any of the work. I have movement. So I don't know if it's them taking off. Get ready to drive away. No, ready don't. Drive. No, don't yeah, drive away. Hold on. Um, you gotta drive away. You have to drive away. He's not looking at us, you guys. Probably pull the camera down. He's not looking. Jer he's walking towards the car. <laughs> Jeremy is walking towards the car. This is so yeah. stupid. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. <laughs> he's at the window right now. We're just meeting everybody, and then we're heading up north. So we're waiting for him. So. <laughs> oh, nice. So sorry about that. No, you're good. All right. So you're good. All right. Good luck, man. That was close. Dude, oh my gosh. Steve has been watching us this whole time. Man, I'm glad he believed the waiting for friends. Good job, Steve. So it turns out our cameraman is a very good liar, and <laughs> he covered for us. So we're good. We're good. He doesn't suspect a thing. I'm gonna get up now. Uh, Brooke's mom, Jory, is almost in tears right now. 
because she thinks it's not going to work out. Okay, I just called and they haven't even left yet because my daughter is in so much pain. This happens a lot. No, wait, I, I couldn't hear you. What? You're going to make the hotel work. Okay, so you're going to come and get some medicine. Okay, okay, honey. Bye-bye. Yeah, We're going to go home so she can come get the medicine. All right. <laughs> See ya. Okay, what's just, happening? Just they're leaving it. the house. There they go, they're going. And they're gone. Okay, I'm here with Sean from Good Concrete. We've told you the scope of what we want to do. Tell me what you think. It's a little bit bigger than what I thought it was going to be. All right. So would you mind helping me take some measurements real yeah, quick? Yeah, let's do it. Let's um, do it. We're going to be here first thing in the morning, 8 o'clock. Go through, start bobcatting it, set forms. We're going to pull the truck right down in here to pour this out. How long do you think it's going to take? You're looking probably about six to seven hours. It might be cutting a, a little bit close, but I have uh, <laughs> I have complete faith in you, Sean. I am we'll legit excited right now. It's going to be fun. Do some it's going to be fun. Yeah. Today was especially tough for Brooke, so I, I hope that this delay today isn't going to affect tomorrow. But even if it does, it's going to be awesome because one way or another, we're going to put this driveway in for her and it's going to be amazing. Today is the day. We're so excited that it's actually happening right now. All this planning, all these curveballs that have been thrown at us, yeah. it doesn't matter. The guys are here and they're making it happen. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yes. Let's do it. Ow, let's do early to do that. We're getting everything graded out and ready to go right now. Concrete's on the way. We're going to set form and pour. The concrete's on the way. we got to get this dirt out of here. That concrete's coming. And there ain't no stopping it once it gets here. I would say we're responsible for one fourth of the dirt in that bobcat that's about to be dumped. Yeah, the two of us together. One fourth. Like two thirds of that one fourth is me. Excuse and then like one third. Me, <laughs> I'll shovel a lot of dirt. It's not about who does the most work, it's just about getting it done so that Burke and Jeremy can have a cool driveway. It's true. When they get here, we want to be swept up, cleaned up, and standing here, done. So Sean has everything under control. Now we have to get to this commercial because I don't know if we're going to get it done in time. Where's Will? I'm playing a construction worker. I got a concrete truck out here. We're filming a fake local commercial that we're going to show Brooke and Jeremy before a movie that we send them to. As the commercial progresses, they're going to see that we're actually working on their house and their driveway. It's going to be awesome. Oh, hey. I'm Will. On time. On time. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Let's do it. That's it. We're out of mud. I think we're going to do another truck. Just have 10 yards. I just don't want to be short. We don't have time to be short. Look at how much progress we've made. It doesn't even look like the same yeah, yard. It's coming right along. It makes quite a difference, really. We've got the walkway and half of the driveway done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's curb appeal. Curb appeal, and she's going to love it. All right, truck one just went away, and truck two will be here soon. OK. I just got a text from Jamie. They're at lunch right now. Everything's going great on that end, so let's check out the commercial. Hey, Damien. Hey, Emily. How's everything going? It's going well. I've got this footage of uh, Will with the concrete truck. Oh, good. Can I check it out? It's looking really good, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, it's going to be a great little thing for the reveal. That's super it's exciting. It's going to work really well. What can I do to help? Okay, so Will is just down the road right now. He's filming this scene. We really need this scene to come back as soon as we can. We're on the clock. Okay, I'll see you soon. Thanks, Emily. Bye, Damien. Okay, you guys, we got to get going. Will, do you know your lines? No. <laughs> Even right here. Two, two, two. On 400 East. I like that. We're doing that? Okay, go back five steps. And action! At Good Concrete, we deliver concrete everywhere, including Bountiful. In fact, we even deliver on 400 East. I love it. I love the ender. This is rough. Oh, look, Brooke's mom's here. <laughs> so you oh, weren't yeah. expecting this? <laughs> Not like this. I wasn't. <laughs> Let me give you a little tour of what we've done so far. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at that. A real oh, sidewalk. <laughs> This is exactly what they needed. Concrete stairs. Yes. That's what they're working on right now. Whoa! So Look at all this mess. It's good. You guys, I can't believe you're doing <laughs> all this. There are 
are crews coming and going. We've got three different crews here right now. We got good concrete, we got Alta View. Lawn Butler's coming in and donating all the landscaping. So what specifically are you going to add to make this yard just sparkle? Well, we try to put in some plants that are easy to maintain so that the homeowners don't have to spend a lot of time with them. We're gonna clear out a lot of this vegetation, spruce up the beds. We got the edger going. We've got some trimmers over here. We're just raking up the weeds. It should look good year round for them and be very easy to maintain. So it's not just gonna be a driveway, it's gonna be an entire new yard. Okay, let's go. Damien, are we ready? Yeah, we're almost done. Give me five minutes. Okay, I'm gonna be back. <laughs> okay, Damien, are you ready to go? Okay, I need five more minutes. You said that five minutes ago. I know, I need one more five. Damien, we've gotta go. Where's Will? He said he was gonna help break this stuff out. Where'd he go? <laughs> Damien, they're on their way to the movie theater right now. I've got to go. I'm exploding okay. right now. We've got barely, barely enough time. Take it, take it. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Come on, Will. Okay. We're here at the Megaplex. I hope it's not too late. Uh, me too. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, we have a camera behind that curtain over there, over there. I'm going to be right here, and Brooke, Jeremy, and Jamie and her husband are going to be in that row right there. So we're getting the mic set up. We're getting everything set up for the reveal. They have arrived at the theater. They're walking in the lobby. They're walking in. They're walking in. This is it. This is crunch time. OK, we don't even have time to practice. We just have to run it because they're walking in right now. I see them. I hope this works. Cross your fingers, you guys. Hi, I'm Will here with Good so, Concrete. So, so when you need a driveway, a sidewalk, or a walk on porn, you know who to call. Don't get mixed out, okay. up with okay. the wrong people. Choosing a concrete provider can be hard. But now you know who to call. Will at Good Concrete. Serving everybody in the Salt Lake area. Come on. I see you don't carry one coke. Thanks. At Good Concrete, mm -hmm. we deliver concrete anywhere. That looks totally like that place. Does that look like the toilet? That's the toilet. Hey, <laughs> You never have to worry. <laughs> but you're because we're bringing our good service and oh, our good going. concrete right to your front door. Hey, we even take care of your landscaping. That's <laughs> our house for that one. That one so if you need some good concrete, give us a call and we'll be on That's our way. That's our house! <laughs> No joke. Really our house. <laughs> I'm really confused. <laughs> yeah, it's an old commercial. It's probably when the city was doing the work. There's no cement in our yard. <laughs> well, maybe we should... <laughs> hey! 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 Brooke! Jeremy! How's it going? Yeah, hey, that's is right. this a total... <laughs> you were going to be Alaskan in. We decided Pay to get attention. started at your place before you even told us to. What? You guys, we are so excited <laughs> to show you everything that we've done. So go ahead and ditch the movie. Come on down. We can't wait to meet you. Do you really know this? You know what? Actually, it's a little weird with me here up on the screen and you guys down there. So give me one second, okay? Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> How are you doing? Hello. Hey. Oh. <laughs> you guys are on a show called Random Acts. And your good friend Jamie here set you guys up completely and we went and poured you a driveway. <laughs> We're gonna go home and see that. Yeah! yeah. Oh my so God. Well, let's get over yeah, there. Yeah, let's get over there. See your place. <laughs> this is so fun. I'm still like, oh guys, uh, complete surprise. We got them. The commercial came on. They were like, that's our house. We nailed it. Okay, we're happy. Let's go show them. Blindfolds are prepped when we get close. We're gonna have them put them on. Okay, let's go. Okay. Blindfolds go on. Okay. Blindfolds on. And I'll take you. Yeah, you okay. okay. Okay, they're coming. They're coming. <laughs> and we'll tell you when to take off your blindfolds. Okay. Okay. Take them off and turn around. Go ahead. Okay, ready? It's like all cute. Oh my gosh. I love 
love you. I love you. The thought that this actually is, like even now looking at it, I'm still just kind of like, it's very humbling that people are willing to think of us. You guys have been amazing to work with and you blessed my favorite people. And <laughs> that I was able to say to you guys, hey, they need the driveway. That would make their lives so much better. And for that to be what they really wanted and needed, it's amazing. To know that there's still people that care and that are willing to you know, help out people in need, it's nice. So. Yeah, he's right here for sure. So he's got the glasses, the black scrubs. Hey, how's it going? You ready? How are we doing? You're Greg, right? Yeah. Yeah, you ready to go? Where are we going? We're taking you and your entire family to St. George. <laughs> <laughs> did you put, did you put him up to this? I I've never met this guy before. Ladies, come on out here. <laughs> <laughs> the real work begins. Hey, Brad, you brought the good stuff, huh? Yeah, there's about 9,000 pounds of sheetrock right here. We have electricians and HVAC guys in there now. We got drywallers coming at seven, so we're trying to get everything out and all this in in the next hour. So we're gonna be crazy. Boy, they're just working, yeah. aren't they? Like, we you don't, don't waste any time. We don't, we don't waste time. All right, let's, uh, let's check this out over here. It's great. Another bedroom. This is more than I thought. Yeah, so how many is three bedrooms in the family room? Yeah, is it what you expected? Uh, Are you going to be able to finish this right. in time? Yeah, hopefully. The plan is tonight is that we'll get drywall going up. So these guys have to get in, get all their stuff done, get the drywall in, and something that would probably take, I don't know, a couple weeks to do uh, yeah. will we'll be done really in a night tonight. So it's going to be all fast. Tonight. Real fast. Let's yeah, get this let's going. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. I got, I got it. What, over here? This is crazy. There are so many people here. It's controlled chaos. Can I grab some of this? Sure. Put me to work. Right now, we're sending the sheet mark down and all the materials that they need to put it up. So pretty soon, the guys are going to put it all up, mud it all up, and then we'll move on to the next thing after it dries. Think I can handle one of those by myself? I got it. I got it. Oh! Okay. Well! Don't hurt yourself, man! <laughs> you know, I kind of resent how surprised everybody is. <laughs> Last one! So we had two drywall crews scheduled to show up tonight. Uh, one of them's come so far, I'm not sure if the other one's coming. If not, hopefully they make it in the morning. If they don't, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble here. We may have to work pretty late into the night. You're worried. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. I've never seen you worried before, Greg, so I'm a little worried. Yeah, that worries <laughs> you. Can we just peek in here? Absolutely. Thanks. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. It's all enclosed. This looks like a bedroom. These guys are so good. They are knocking this out of the park. So I'm just going back and playing support, covering up screw heads that may have been missed, getting everything ready for the texture. We're getting the baseboards in, the shelving. What's going on? I'm, I'm working here, Lisa, so if you yeah. can you know, do all the hosting stuff, because I'm getting my hands dirty. Hey, check it out. Texture. Yeah, we're already there. I'm hoping that we're still on time, but I'm not sure, so I think we need to check in with Greg. So how do you think we're doing time for this? Um, things slowed up just a little bit, but yeah, these guys are killing it. They're doing really good. Things are really moving. Well, good, because we're going to need to sneak off for a little bit, but we'll be back as soon as we can. We are on our way to the local TV station. Because we have a really cool way to reveal to the family exactly what we've been doing downstairs. It's going to be great. Whoa. Guys, we finally made it to KSL News. We're going to be pre-recording a segment to reveal to the Gossards everything that we've done at their house. A little bit of local flavor joined by Will and Lisa today, the hosts of Random Acts here produced locally. You guys, good to see you again. It's been far too long. Tell us what you're working on now. Do we go in a V formation, a W? I've read a lot of articles. V, up and down, up and down, up and down, back across. It 
is really hot in here. It's like a sauna, huh? It's like a sauna. They are circulating this hot air. Because we have designers coming in and they're wanting to decorate and get things up on the walls and stuff, we just need this paint to dry up. And quickly because they're coming home. Right, today. right, right. All right, this is crazy. So he's starting the carpet in this room as things get finished on the other side of the house. So he's going to be moving this way as we finish. There's still plumbing and tiling left to do. And all that stuff takes time to dry and set so that other stuff can be put on top of it. So I'm really hoping that we get this done. We're getting very, very close, so I'm gonna check on progress. Come here. Excuse me, how we doing? Hey, are you worried at all? Not me. Oh, not you. You're folding this blanket very nicely. I think that's great, but can we fold a little faster? All right, we got it. Here we go, they're here, they're here. How was St. George, everybody? I actually had a really fun time as well. We did a lot of cool things uh, with Random Acts, and we, KSL called us and wanted to know about the show, and they, we actually talked to them about your family. So they did a new segment, and we brought it to show you guys. Oh, awesome. So let's check it out. Sit down. And more on the UK Prime Minister <laughs> Theresa May's visit with President Donald Trump coming up in just a little bit. But first, a little bit of local flavor. Joined by Will and Lisa okay, today, the hosts of Random Acts here produced locally. Will, good to see you again. It's been far too long. Tell us what you're working on now. Thanks, Andrew. Uh, well, Random Acts, as you know, is a hidden camera show with heart. We set people up to prank them, but instead of doing something mean, we do something nice for them. And actually, this week, we've been working with the Gossard family. We sent them down to have a wonderful, relaxing vacation. But actually, during that time, we've been renovating their bathroom. Ooh, there's more. Jennifer and Greg go downstairs and take a look at your new bathroom. Woo! That's so, awesome. Mom, Dad, let's that's come down here. Awesome. All right. Definitely that kind. Ladies first, Mom. Go check out your new bathroom. No way! Oh my gosh, how did you do that? How did you do that? We can breathe! <laughs> well, what do you think? Oh, uh, she's about ready to pass out. Oh my gosh, she's so awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Will. Oh my gosh. Let's oh, take a look. Oh my goodness. So many people came to do this just for you. For you and for you and for you. For you guys. It is really, really cool. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Oh. That's not it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute. <laughs> I know there's a lot. <laughs> cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, how do you know? <laughs> yeah. uh, I like the cougars, so. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, cute. Nice bid. I'm just so overwhelmed. It's more than I could have ever, ever dreamt. Everybody has a space. It's totally just like, it's overwhelming. Yeah. And now they have a place that they can call their own. That's amazing. This is Greg with Heart to Home, and this is his team. So I'm not even sorry about this, guys, but I love group hugs, so can we uh, bring it in? <laughs> hey, heads up, everyone. They're on the road. Hang on, hang on, and they're gone. It's go time. I'm so excited to be reunited with one of the coolest people, season one. Coming in! 
Chuck, good concrete. Chuck! <laughs> How are you doing, man? Thank you so much for coming You're back welcome. out. You're welcome. Thanks for inviting me back. We've set a huge task for Sean. All the concrete must go in today and set overnight so that we can bring in all the play equipment tomorrow. But it's going to be tough because his team will be working around tons of people coming and going to get the entire yard ready for the trampoline, jungle gym, and everything else that's coming in. Not to mention that 30-foot deck we need to rip out. Okay, let's get rid of this deck. Okay, let's do it. Dean, I want you to take the hammer and go for it. Everybody, Dean. Oh, 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 there it goes. Oh, pull that thing off. Oh, All right, everybody, get the rest of it now. Here we go. That's happening to me now. That's happening so The wood chips just arrived in the nick of time. And so for the fact that they came in right now, and we're getting them in, is perfect. But still no concrete, which is a bit of a worry. The sun is setting, so we got to get a move on. We're running out of daylight. So what I'm thinking is 4.30, we have to still cap all the sprinklers. We've got to get all the forms up, all the uh, rebar in. So I just, I just don't think we're going to do this for today. Okay. Hey! All right, now we just have push on. So it's the end of day one. And we got a lot done, but we weren't able to pour the concrete, which is a problem. Yeah, I actually don't see this happening tomorrow. With oh everything that we got going on. With the play set that's going in and the trampoline, um, we still got forms to set. I mean, my guy's gonna stay here for a couple more hours, but I, I just don't know how we're gonna pull this off. a hero. <laughs> he figured out how we can get the concrete in without getting in the way of building the playground or the trampoline or anything. Yeah, I think this is actually going to happen. It's going. It's working. So the only way that we can get this all finished by the time we get home tonight is a pump over the house. We're going to pump this and pour it over the house. Gosh, right save the day! Let's, go. Go. Let's get started. While we were talking to Sean, Skywalker Trampoline showed up, and they're hustling to get as much done as they can before the concrete arrives. Also, we've had volunteers turn up to build new stairs to the back door where the deck used to be. It's going to be a crazy day trying to pull all this together. This is John from Skywalker Trampolines. This is a nice trampoline. Can I help? Yeah, sure. Okay. Grab on. We're just going to lift it up. I think our placement's just about right there. Concrete truck's here. All right, it is go time now that we have the pump that goes over the roof. We can start on this side while they finish installing the playground. It's working out great. Release the yep. Kraken. Yeah! Let's get some mud going. You did it, man. We had exactly enough concrete, yeah, which is job. awesome. And we're not so, out of the woods yet. There's still a couple things that has to dry, but I think we're going to get it done, man. I think so. Thanks, Thanks to you, so. buddy. All right, brother. Good job. She nailed it. Good job. OK, with the concrete done and drying, it's time to start all the little finishing touches. The trampoline team are working to get the playground back in place. We've got lighting and balloons to put up in the backyard. And the guys are working on getting the stairs ready for when the concrete is dry. Still a lot to do with not much time left. But we can do it. Let's go. Come on. Woo! OK, we're ready for the jungle gym to go in. <gasps> all right, are we ready? Where do you want it, John? Let's put it close to the back corner here. OK. About there. Like there. here? Uh-huh. OK. Oh! Hey, hey, now, hey, now. Perfect. OK, keep it going. OK. You're doing great, man. You're doing real great. So you just have to get really gentle. Then a little more. There we go. That yeah. should be awesome. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Yep, we're good. Come on, we 
to pick it up. We're getting a short on time. Everybody. Are they turning? Yeah, they should be here any second, coming around the corner. Okay, they're coming up the street, moving up the street. Okay, they pulled in the driveway. Perfect hey. timing. I was just getting your mail. Oh, hey. What's up, guys? How's your, how's your weekend? Good. Your pictures looked awesome. It looked like you guys had a blast. Oh, it was fun. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Cole. We'll help you take your stuff in. Oh, yeah. Okay, so nice. hey, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. So he's been working on a little project. Oh, okay. He's been making something, and he put it out on the deck. But yeah, he wants it to be a surprise. Like so, so you have to cover your eyes. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. as soon as Tiffany opens the door, I'm gonna walk you forward to the deck. It's just sitting right out there. Okay. And then Dean is going to do the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. to meet you. And you don't know us very well, but we know a lot about your family. Just how much love and dedication that you have for them and what you've shown them. And the special needs that Cole has and just how much motherly love that you show to him each and every day. And so we wanted to do something nice for you. But we didn't do this all on our own, obviously. There are so many people that you know and love that just wanted to, to help, so. Everybody, come on out here. Thank you guys. Let's give them a round of applause, everybody. Now, it might be interesting to know this all started with Dean. He's the best. Oh, Ever since we moved in, he's been amazing to Cole. And you guys? Surprise. <laughs> love you guys. Yeah, we love you guys. We're, we're excited. It's been a tough secret to keep. Yes. But... Look at Cole. He's already like in seventh heaven. <laughs> Every piece of this backyard was donated by someone who was excited to donate it. From the stairs to the concrete, to the trampoline, to the playhouse, every piece was donated. That someone did that for us and thought about us and thought about Cole and thought about his needs. I mean, that's just amazing that someone would think to do that for him. I know this backyard is mostly for Cole and for his his development and his just being able to have fun. But I think this is also a, a great blessing for Sarah. And uh, she doesn't know, but people notice how much she fights for Cole and how much she, uh, she needs a win. She needs, uh, you know, something that uh, boosts her spirit and she's Cole's fighter. She's Cole's, uh, Cole's advocate. And uh, so I'm just happy for her as, as well as Cole. So thankful to everyone who put their time and effort into this. I think it's gorgeous and I seriously, <laughs> I feel like I'm dreaming. Everybody is back in here. The girls got the crafts for the Minecraft room. The paint is here. I went and picked up the bed. Now I just have to go inside and tell them about one small detail that I neglected to mention. All right, guys, looks like everybody's set for tonight. There is just one small detail that I have left out. This is a television show, so we have to add a little bit of drama. So we are going to do everything. Remodel the room, remove the furniture, paint the room, put everything back in, while Theo is asleep in his bed. 
He's gonna be in the Yeah, he's gonna be in the bed, sleeping. That's, that's gonna be hard. We've never done anything like that. It looks like we've got a bit of a problem. Um, yeah, I just have a little bit of concern about this, and, and I don't yeah, want it yeah. to be a big deal, and I don't want to make a, a big thing out of it, but we've just never done a makeover when somebody's been in the house before. <laughs> no, I can understand. And, like, with him being in the room or in the bed, that's going to be tough. So Greg pulled me and one of the producers aside to voice some concerns, and he basically said, yeah. the, the kid's probably going to wake up, and I think we all know we run that risk, but we're going to give it a go. Okay, so tonight we are here at Theo's house. We have everything we need to remodel his room. His mom's actually gonna be in there just in case he starts to stir and wake up. She'll give us a signal and everybody will leave as quietly as possible so he can go back to sleep. You guys ready? Yeah. Ready. ready. Let's do this. Let's go. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff in his room. A lot of stuff on his bed still. And we're just gonna start pulling that stuff out. And we've got about 10 people in there hauling everything out right now. And the key is that Theo doesn't wake up. Yeah, the key is he can't wake up. Take it from the east wall where he's at right now. We're gonna just take the mattress, leave the bed, move it over to the west side of the room. Once we have that one wall painted, we can start getting his new bed up. So we started to move the bed and Theo began to wake up. So we put him back and we decided to paint the entire room around Theo while he's in there. And then we'll move the bed, paint the wall behind the bed, and move him back. What do you do when you have eight foot ceilings and you don't want to make a lot of noise by bringing in a ladder? Ken is super tall and he was leaning over the bed, going down the corner. He dripped right on Theo. <laughs> A little drip of paint. It's still in his arms. All right, Casey, I heard you are the finisher. You're the one that's gonna make the biggest difference when he wakes up because you, you decorate the room. What are you gonna do in Theo's room? He wants Minecraft. Yeah. The Minecraft's huge. You know, and it's all kind of about building and 3D and dimension. So we wanna do whatever makes him happy. Okay, so the room is painted. Now we need to move in the new bed. Here's the bed. How you doing here, buddy? You got it. It's a bunk bed, which is something Theo's wanted for a long time. Um, and he's gonna have a little desk underneath uh, the bunk bed, and his bed's gonna be up top. So every kid's dream, what top bunk. You can flip it either way. So there's a problem with the bed? Yeah, it's too big. We can't build it out here. We have to take the pieces in and put them together in the dark. We can, we can do that. We can do that. We can do that. I guess this is the moment of truth. There's a few people left inside. They're putting the finishing touches on. Toys and, and decorations. It's great. Theo's going to wake up and see his brand new room. We did it. Guys, we did it. You all were amazing. It turned out fantastic. It is time to go get some sleep. So good job, everybody. Silent high fives all around. Even though we finished Theo's room just before sunrise, we wouldn't really know how successful we were until Theo woke up. Mom! So this morning, Theodore woke up and he was pretty shocked. <laughs> Surprise! 
and you could just see the little wheels turning in his head. He was flabbergasted. <laughs> Twelve people were all in your room. But they were so quiet. <laughs> How can construction be so quiet? All three brothers have been in there. They've been playing, they've been laughing, climbing up and down the bed. He basically hasn't left his room all day. Awesome! That is so cool! It's been more than I realized it could be. It was magic. I can't thank Heart to Home enough. They have no idea what an impact they made. Well, guys, we did it. You all were absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Greg, for putting the team together, giving everybody their responsibilities. It was an awesome project. We'll remember that for a long time. I think that was probably the hardest makeover we've done. Yeah, I would say one of the weirdest that we've done, too. <laughs> That's so worth it. Yeah. So glad we did it. I'm glad too. And that concludes the list of our top reveals. Go ahead and leave a comment down below and let us know which one was your favorite, even if it's not on the list. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share us with your friends because we know you got some.